listen, there, there was some badass jersey. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. But let's get into title segments of today's show. And that is the one and only the Detroit Lions. Last night, guys, the, the Detroit Lions came out and they said, look at us. They come out. They're looking clean. Look at those black and black jerseys with the with with like the Hawaiian blue with the chrome blue helmets with the black line. Man, those jerseys were looking good. They come out and they said, look at us. Not only did they look good, they played good. They had a very impressive victory over the Seattle Seahawks on Monday Night Football. I believe the final score was 42 to 29. Many people in my chats, in my discords, in my text messages even saying, hey, the Lions are back on top. You've been talking so high about the Minnesota Vikings the last few, few, few weeks here. Don't forget about the Detroit Lions. But guys, are they really back on top? Are they really the kings of the north? Are they really the front runners in the NFC right now? When we look at the Detroit Lions, yes, last night they played a near flawless game on offense. On offense, they played nearly a flawless game. Jared Goff was 18 for 18 for 292 yards passing with two touchdowns and one receiving tutty. Jameer Gibbs looked great as well. He had 14 carries on 78 yards with two touchdowns as well. But the defense... The defense has been an issue. One second, buddy. The, the defense has been the issue in Detroit the last few weeks. The pass rush is lacklusting at best. At best, the pass rushing is, is lackluster. They are 22nd ranked in defense, giving up 350 yards per game, 258 passing, 91 r r rushing, along with 20 points per game. So with the Lions... It is a lot of bit of greatness and then a lot of bit of worseness, I guess. I, not greatness. Not so good stuff. Offense on the Detroit Lions looking great. Looking amazing. Are they back on top? Offensive wise, sure. If their offense could be on the field 60 minutes, minutes a lie, a lie, a lie game, they would be unstoppable. The point is that their defense needs a lot of fixing. Their defense has no pass rush. That needs to be fixed ASAP. They tried to fix it this, this, this offseason by bringing in a free agent and signing a guy from the CAFL. Those guys have yet to really show up and done anything. Let's just be honest. And if they do not fix the pass rush ASAP, they could experience seven more losses this season. Seven more losses this season. Next week versus the Dallas Cowboys. Very pass-happy offense. If you're not getting a pass rush, the Dak, Dak Prescott and the boys are going to walk all over the Detroit Lions. Minnesota Vikings, you still got to play a play them twice. Very pass happy team. Green Bay Packers, really good at passing as like as well. And oh, by the way, they play the Buffalo Bills and the 49ers still as still still as well. That could be easily seven more losses if you do not get a pass rush figured out ASAP. Now I know, know what you're saying. And eh, it's still nine and eight. Right? We're three and one right now. We lose seven more games. We're still nine and eight. But I don't think nine and eight's good enough to win the division. I don't think nine and eight's good enough to make the playoffs. I don't think nine and eight's good enough to be a top nine in the NFC. So, guys, let me know in the comments below. Do you think the Detroit Lions are back on top? Do you think the Detroit Lions are them? Do you think that the, the NFC North runs through Detroit? Let me know. Let me know. Let me know. Laura says, not on top yet. They're working there, but not yet. Slow it down, baby. He says, wait till about week nine, and then we'll readdress this topic. Let me write this down. Week nine. What up, though? Go, go back inside, buddy. You're, you're, you're being silly. This little man's on fall break, so he got to stay up and watch his first fo football game on Monday night, and he loved every bit of it. He loved them some Detroit Lions last night. Uh, he is he just, he just showing off for the camera, aren't you, dude? Yeah. All right. I love you, buddy. All right. James Frank says, top 10 quarterback, one of the best, if not the best, running back duo in the NFL. This is all James Frank speaking. And, it, and he says, I believe their defense will only get better. NFC championship games will be the Bucks and the Lions. So James Frank says it goes through Detroit. 
The Detroit Lions are the best. We the best, he says. James Frank. Bucks and Lions in the NFC Championship game? I like it. I like it. Brian McGrady's in the chat. He says the Lions will the North again. Will win the North again. Not only says will, he says will. They will win the North again. All right. All right, Brian. No need to yell, my man. But hey, I th- I kind of like what Laura says. He says, she says, wait till week nine, then readdress this topic. Because let's just be honest. The next few weeks for the Detroit Lions are a little rough. A little rough. They have to report eligible when they go down to Dallas on the road. They play Minnesota Vikings on the road as well. And then the Titans at home and then at Packers at Houston. So really the next five weeks, the month of October is going to be a, tell- a lot of telling for the Detroit Lions. Let's just be honest. Jay Jillian says it runs through the Detroit, runs through Detroit until proven otherwise. Does it though? I mean, because last year was your first um NFC North Championship in like what since 85 or what or or whatever it was, right? 30 plus odd years. Just because you have one fluke championship, division championship, that doesn't mean it runs through the north. Vikings still have the most division wins. Then the Green Bay Packers, if I'm not mistaken. Hell, I think the Chicago Bears have more division championships than the, than the Detroit Lions do. Now, I'm not saying you're wrong, Jay. I think the Detroit Lions are a really good team. They clearly have one of the best offenses in the NFL. They could not be stopped last night. The only thing that really helped or that stopped the Detroit Lions last night was a phantom Offensive pass interference call on the uh, Seahawks on Tyler Lockett, but we digress from, from that. The refs helped them. <laughs> no. uh, Jim says, ask Arnold where it runs through. Hey, Arnold. What? Who was Arnold? I don't know. Got my man WB Ant in the chat as well. He says, what up, yo? What up, what up, what up? So, guys, let me ask you a question. If the North runs through the Detroit Lions, if the North runs through the through Detroit, one team is going to have to fall off, meaning the Minnesota Vikings. Now, we talked about the Vikings yesterday, waiting for the shoe to drop, right? But the Green Bay Packers are right there as well. When we talk about some of the best divisions in football, the NFC North has to be considered one of the best divisions out there if not the best. So who falls first? Obviously the Bears last place. Let's just get that out of the way. Bears. But then you got the Vikings and the and the and the and, and the Packers. Both really really good teams. Both built to win championships. Let's just be honest. Who who falls first? Do the Vikings hit a snug and lose 3 4 4 games in a row? Do, do the Packers just start going back-to-back, back, like winning and then losing and then winning and then losing every other? And then, and then the Lions start to separate? What do you guys anticipate? I anticipate it coming down to Week 18. I anticipate it com- coming down to January 5th. Vikings come into Ford Field in, in Detroit to take on the Lions. This will be the late game. This will be the Sunday night game. Winner takes all. I think it's going to come down to the last week of the season. And I think the Vikings do win the division. Laura says the Vikings are staking the claim again. Sorry, y'all. Kings in the North belongs in Minnesota. James Frank says, number one, we the Lions. Number two will be the Vikings. Number three will be the Packers. And four will be the Bears. Four will be the Bears. Everyday Clips is back in the chat. He says, bro, Jared Goff went crazy last night. Yes, he did. He did go crazy last night. 18 for 18, 292 yards. Two passing touchdowns, one receiving touchdown. Man, that, that boy's a beast. That boy's a beast. But, guys, are the Lions the kings of the north? Let us know, let us know, let us know. Now, 